Well, welcome back to 553. Casey is a garbage man today. That's the job he's undertaking. That's right. And Casey on Facebook, we're asking, what's one thing you just can't throw away? So what is it for you, Casey? What's one thing you can't throw away? You know what? Probably t-shirts or hats. My wife says I'm a hat hoarder. Mm -hmm. I've got probably over 60 hats. Right. Whoa! Do you what? wear them all? Uh, no, but I keep them just in case. Oh, yes. I need that hat. Right. But you I can't part with it, not even one of them. Yep. No. I, did I ever tell you the story, Holly? You probably don't know this, but when I first <laughs> got married... We've heard it, but you know, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we've heard it many times. <laughs> when I first got married, uh, my wife uh, was living with me, and I was going... Yeah, because well, of course she was living with me. We got married. Right. Well, yeah, well, I'm glad you're living together. <laughs> yeah. But I was working on a Saturday, and I came home, and there's this guy going through the garbage, and he's sorting out shirts that he wants oh. and shirts that he doesn't want. And I was walking by, I did one of these. That's my shirt. <laughs> Those are all my shirts. Oh, man. And so this guy is sorting shirts he wants and he doesn't want. <laughs> And I've got shirts that a guy through a garbage, going through a garbage doesn't even want. <laughs> that's why you right. get rid of them. And that's why they ended up in the trash. <laughs> yeah, and so I went up to him and said, hey, look, if you're going to take one, you're going to take all, because I can't have this. I can't <laughs> yeah, have you. Yeah. Yeah, so you take all take my shirts all. or nothing. So, uh, <laughs> are you at your house this morning? <laughs> 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 I finally made it funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here at Wasatch Front Waste and Recycling this morning, so I'm going to be a garbage man. I'm going to go through the ins and outs of what it takes to be a garbage man. Now, we're I can't imagine recycling. that's the real term. They're probably not called a garbage man, right? No, the, let's bring in Ryan real quick. Ryan, come in real quick. Because we do not want to offend, and so far this morning we've been saying I'm going to be a garbage man. What's the proper term? You can be a garbage man today. I can be a garbage man today? You can be a garbage man today. All right, I'm going to be a garbage man today, and there's a famous comedian that says he was talking to his kid. He goes, what do you want to be when you grow up? He goes, a garbage man. They only work one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Right. He only knew. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Behind Thanks. That. Okay, let's check in with Mary to see what's coming up at 6. Uh, let's say good morning to Casey once again. He is Casey the Garbage Man. That's right, and Ryan said it's okay to call me the Garbage Man because we're here hanging out with Wasatch Front Waste and Recycling, but we're actually at Rocky Mountain Recycling. Now, how does that all come about? Uh, what it is, we, we have a community partnership with Rocky Mountain Recycling where we bring our recycled materials to them, uh, which is what we pick up in that blue can on the curbside every week. Now, Wasatch Front Waste and Recycling deals primarily with recyclables? No. Wasatch Front Waste and Recycling, we pick up your garbage, recyclables. We have a, a, whole, a whole array of uh, services we provide, but Rocky Mountain Recycling processes our recyclable materials. So you just bring the blue can here? Correct. All right, so now we're going to go through what's recyclable and what's not. Yes, we service about 81,000 homes in the valley, and with that, our customers do a great job at sorting, what, determining what should be recycled and what should not be recycled. Now, Ryan's being modest because actually they have a 96% rating. That means 96% of all the stuff that goes in this blue can was proper. It, exactly. They do a great job with that, and we want to see how good you can do with that. All right, so let's do it. So you got an average bag of garbage. All right. Looks like an average bag of garbage to me. Okay. So we've got hot monkey love here, and I'm going to guess whether this is recyclable or not. Yeah, is that recyclable? I would like to think so because I don't want to see love die, but I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> it is not. Yeah, that's right. So I was right there. So then uh, a milk carton, of course, recyclable. Knows that one. Cardboard, right back in there. Yeah, these ones are easy. Debbie, what are these? What are they? Green mm -hmm. onions? Weeds. Weeds. Oh, I heard my wife talk about these. Yeah, we call that green waste. Green mm -hmm. waste. And so, although you would think green, it would be recyclable, it's not. Exactly. Ooh. It certainly is yeah. recyclable, just not in the blue can. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. and I dropped it. Post. There, we no longer have a bag. What That's is that? The bag is recyclable. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> the Christmas sock. Not recyclable. Oh, Reusable. Not Reusable. recyclable. Okay. What about glass jars? What about glass jars, Debbie asks? Glass jars, we have glass collection sites. Glass does not okay. go in the blue can as of yet because it does create problems for the sort process. 
but we have collection sites where you can drop off your glass. Good All right, come on up. they got a new fleet of cars. We've got the CNGs. We're going to talk about those. They're going to be behind the wheel. We're going to use the arm, and then we're also going to dump it. So we're going to send it back to you guys. Wasatch Front Waste and Recycling, hanging out at Rocky Mountain Recycling. We'll see you guys in a bit. Very cool. I always hey. like it when the garbage and recycle trucks come through our neighborhood because I like to watch and pick up the barrels. It's clean. It's yep. one of the small pleasures in life. <laughs> there we go. And so look at Congratulations on your new job this morning. <laughs> As a garbage man? Yes. Come and knock on my door. We'll be waiting for you. Three's coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm inside this truck is because it's a brand new beautiful truck. This is the CNG truck and these are the new trucks to your fleet at the Wasatch Front, right? That's correct. We've got five of these brand new CNG trucks and by 2016 our entire fleet will be converted to CNG. Alright, let's talk about the benefit of a CNG truck. It's much cleaner, uh, lower carbon footprint and they're quieter. Uh, it's just they're a great truck. Now these trucks are pretty amazing because they can carry up to eight tons of uh, waste and recyclables, right? That's correct. We, we can we're legal up to eight tons, and uh, with recyclables, uh, we pack on about you know five to eight tons per load. All right. Now earlier we were talking about Wasatch Front recycling and waste, and that uh, the cool thing about you guys is that you come pick up the blue cans every week. We pick up the blue cans every week, curbside. And that's great because, uh, you know, a lot of times in our house, if, 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 if the recyclable is full, it, it's tough to where do you put it. Yeah, people have a tendency just to use any avenue available to them. So we saw the need to open up that avenue and uh, collect every week. In my neighborhood, there's such things called garbage can sniping. That's wait until your neighbors go to work, and then you go dump it in theirs. Hey, we're going to send it back to you guys coming up. We're going to fire this bad boy up, and we're going to get the long arm out and see if I can do some dumping. We'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I'll, I'll admit on record this morning that I've done the sniping, hey, too. Hey, if there's room, <laughs> yeah. that's what it's for. Yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Still the no, cars. I wish I were more like you guys. Yep. We wish we were more like you guys. Just throw it away. I feel, I feel like we need to turn up the heat on this garbage, act, garbage action, so I'm I, ready I, to do some... I agree. Right? You ready to see some action? So I've got Steve here, and Steve's up here for the National Driver of the Year. He's just been driving, what, about six years now? Correct. All right, and so we're getting ready to work the arm on this, and uh, when you go on a route, how many times will you use the arm? Over a thousand times, about 1,200 times. 1,200 times a day? Yes. Correct. All right, and uh, let me ask you this, because on the can itself it says they need to be separated by four to six feet. Does that affect you? No, it does not. It does not affect you, but the, the average man would. Correct. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to do this. So so what do I do here? So the, the, the thumb is going to do what? You're going to close that grabber with the thumb on the bottom. All right, so like, and you got to have the brake on at all times. So a lot of times you guys drive with both feet. That is correct, so I can go faster. So you go faster, right? So I'm going to put it on there. Now, Tom, if you go back there and look at the, uh, at the hand, let's see. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. So now what do I want to do? Do I want to close it just a little bit? Correct, and then you'll pull the joystick towards you. Joystick towards me, so I'm going to close it a little bit. Okay. And then just towards me. Slowly. Whoa. 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 Now pull it back to me a little bit. Okay. 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 Now do I hit auto? And then it's going to dump it? All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> now does it go down? Push it forward. Here it comes down. Oh, wow. That. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I can see it. And then release it. Casey, you got it. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Oh. And scoot it back to the house yeah, there. Into that car. Right. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. I got it. <laughs> wait. Am I right? Mm. Forward. Ow. Whoa. I think I'm done, right? Correct. Outstanding job. Outstanding job? Look at that. Nice. Oh, wow. that's that is so cool. So cute. I'm going to put this on my desk for all of Ron's pep talks. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> it's pep that's talk and then we put them <laughs> trash. You can oh, recycle them later. Yes, that's so I'll cute. see you guys in a bit. <laughs> all right, thanks, Casey. All right. <laughs> Best bar <laughs> <Thank mountain>. <laughs> All right, we'll see how Casey's doing on the job this morning as the you know garbage man. I'm having a great time of hanging out with Wasatch Front Waste and Recycling. We're here at Rocky Mountain Recycling, and behind me you can see all this garbage. This is kind of the overflow, and uh, there's all this kinds of cool stuff through here. I mean, you can just pick through stuff and see nice. what this 
Oh my gosh! Uh, somebody threw that How away. How sad is that? I can't somebody believe threw someone threw it away. away. A perfectly good anchor. Don't you know you can recycle that? There's a market up in Idaho that would love to have a piece of toy. That is just sad. People throw away. They don't even know what to throw away anymore. That's just sad. Hey, we're watch that for recycling. We're getting ready to dump the truck. So hold on. Get back up in here. Mark it up in Idaho. <laughs> All right, let's shut this. All right, Steve, what do we do? All right, Casey, tailgate, open it, activate, open the tailgate. Tailgate, open the tailgate, activate at the same time? Correct. Okay. All the telescopes. A lot of work. Okay. Is it going? Yes. That's a lot of coordination. It, it really is. that at the is. same time? Yeah. How much stuff do we have in here, Steve? Just under five tons. Cool. Just yeah. under five ton. At any point, do I get to put this bad boy in drive and go? Yes, you will after we dump the, the body up. Okay. So, am I pushing the button too long? No, you're good. Okay, I'll go. Now do the tailgate pack in the body up. Tailgate pack in the body up. Okay. Oh! <laughs> That's the good stuff right there, huh? Yes, it is. All right. Uh-oh. Pushing it out. Once it stops, then put it in drive and then go forward slowly. Oh, okay. Now to put it in drive. Slowly. Yes. Yes, yeah, slowly. That so we're going to push the D. All right there? Not okay. an overpass. Oh. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, the brake's on. Okay, oh. got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Woo! Now, how do we... Where do we put it back down now? You'll have to go body down first. Body down first. Yeah, you'll have to go body down first. What are you going to do with all that junk inside your trunk? <laughs> I do not go hanging out with Watts that's fun waste and recycling here at Rocky Mountain Recycling. We're going to send it back to you guys. We're going to show you all the cool stuff that, that comes across the line. And we're going to tell you how you can help out when recycling. We'll send it back to you guys. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. Good job. Looking good so far. Yeah. Action. Action. Oh, wow. yes. All right. Thanks, Casey. Still to come on 2 News this morning. We are in the full swing of spring, and Casey does a lot for the community, too, like uh, picking up garbage today. Recycling. That's right. Recycling is a very important part of it because we're here at Rocky Mountain Recycling, and I'm here with Larry. And, Larry, let's just talk numbers. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. Uh, the way the industry's grown, Casey, 10, 15 years ago, this didn't exist. Now, 90% of the communities along the Wasatch Front have some form of a program, and that's where we get these partnerships, like with Wasatch Community. All right, so what you're recycling here is mostly paper, uh, aluminum, metals, and plastics? That's correct. There's about seven to ten different commodities that we pull out of the recycling stream, and then this facility separates them out. So it's all combined in the can. You did a great job jumping it. We take it in here. We separate it out. About 40% of it is this kind of paper here. All right, now let's talk about the uh, national numbers because on average, the national number, you got about 23%, 24% waste. Is that correct? That's correct. Nationally, the average is 23% contamination. Our guys here do a great job. Uh, we're down in the single digits. Around 4 to 6% is an average for the district. All right, and so if people want to know more information about recycling or maybe get recycling around their area because it's not there yet, how do they do that? They can go to our website, RockyMountainRecycling.com, and then you can learn a little bit more about what's acceptable, what you can do, some interesting facts, and the neat things about it. All right, so real quick, behind me is nothing but paper. That's correct. This is just the fiber that comes out of a can. Clean paper? Clean paper. Clean enough for me to run and jump in? Clean enough you can run and jump in it. Let's do it. Like a big leaf pile. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh-oh. Oh. You're okay. oh, in the paper. Oh. Oh. Drowning oh. in the paper. Oh, oh. 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 You <laughs> did it hurt your hip. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty breather. cool. Yeah. All right, uh, Casey's Cute. all decked out now. You must you're going to be doing some uh, heavy garbage work. Well, some garbage sorting here at Rocky Mountain Recycling. I'm here with Larry, but before we get to Larry and what these guys are doing, we want to say congratulations to Jennifer Price. Jennifer Price, you won the $100 Visa gift card to do whatever you want with. Maybe you could get some cleaning done. Maybe you could buy uh, some new garbage cans. Who knows? Hey, uh, so Larry, what are these guys doing right here? This is called a free sort, and their whole job is to just make sure that nothing gets into the, the good stream of recyclables, so we've got to get it out here before it gets in. So what are some of the things these guys are looking for? They're quick. They're looking for any kind of contamination. They're looking for uh, waste that may have ended up in it. They're looking for yard clippings, uh, 
We just saw some uh, decorative uh, plants there. Hmm. We'll open up the sacks of recyclables so that it can be spread out in the rest of the system. So can... how long will these guys be doing this shift for? Eight hours? They'll go about eight hours, and then we'll shut down, clean up a little bit, take a couple breaks in between. What are some of the oddest things you've found on this conveyor belt? Wow. Uh, in my years of the business, there's a lot. Uh, we had a skunk end up on the belt one time. Oh, he was like a treadmill. He got a little bit of exercise. <laughs> we all ran and hid. Then we got that taken care of. What about any jewelry? We occasionally find a woman's ring. We've been able to find Ooh. retainers. Return them back to the I don't know if they use them again, oh, but we gave them back. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you know what? It was Casey on the job, not Casey talking, so I should probably get in there and get to work. Absolutely. Let's see how we can do. All right, so I'm going to take over. Can you imagine their nightmares? Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. All right, Casey, we're going to look for any kind of contamination. Oh you did a good job. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job. Keep up. You're doing good. You're, you're getting it, uh, most of it there. Let the cardboard go. That's good. Hmm. Looks like you know what you're doing, Casey. It does. Yeah. Keep yeah. it on top of it. That looks good. <laughs> no. Looks like uh, wives have been chomping a little bit. <laughs> Don't grab the skunk. I think I just found a football. Free football, dude. Woo! Oh, so oh. Oh, look at this! Right. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! And it wasn't supposed to be recycled. Well, there's holding. That's not they acceptable. I saw monkey love. Nice All right, I'll send it back to you guys. Uh, I've had some fun with Watts Edge Burn Waste Recycling and Rocky Mountain Recycling. These guys work hard, so keep your, your garbage cans clean. We'll see you guys. Okay, it's learned a lot. Cool yeah. to see how it works.